What's up, YouTube? <laughs> um, sorry, a car just drove by. I'm back from LA. What a time. What a time that was. So the trip started. Oh, my fucking God. The trip started with me missing my flight. And I have no fucking idea how I did this because I'm like the most punctual person ever. I'm never late to shit. I've never missed a flight in my whole life. But this whole week, I was super sleep deprived. And my flight, I had to get up at 4 a.m. for it. And I remember I went to bed at 2 and I had drank the night before. I just remember I woke up and the sun was out. And I looked at my phone and it said 8 a.m. And I was like, no. And so I called my manager Brody and I was like fuck and I fucked up so bad and so after that I went to the spirit like uh help desk and I rescheduled my flight for like five hours later so I went home and took a nap and then came back to the airport and yeah I already spent like a hundred dollars just on ubers like not even in LA yet so the first night I got there there was a show going on and me and my group of people, we all kind of split up, me and like Copia. And so me and Brody went to this um, baby Kia show and I walk in and I meet my friend Emwell, who I've been friends with like on Instagram and on TikTok for like the longest time. And so me and Emwell like hit it off. And after the show, we end up all going out drinking like him and then my friend group but I just like didn't realize how fucking drunk I was throughout the night um it was pretty bad to top it off somebody like gave us a free shot like to end the night and so I had just been like mixing liquors and like didn't even wasn't paying attention or anything and so by the time I got back to Emwell's house um I was there for like five minutes and then I was like, bro, I was like, I have to call an Uber. And so I called an Uber. I don't remember this at all. I called an Uber and I went back to my Airbnb and in the Uber ride, I remember feeling so fucking sick. And so I just like rolled down the window and puked out the window of this nice ass Uber. I felt so bad. And so I had texted my group chat like, my people at my airbnb and i was like yo can someone please meet me downstairs like when this uber pulls up i'm so fucked up and literally my friend ian was waiting down there for me and there was puke all on the side of the uber and he took a picture of it i apologized so hard to the uber driver and i gave him money and then he still charged me for like the cleaning and stuff so i got charged like a 100 bucks um which is well deserved because i fucked up i've yeah i've never done this I'm such a mess. Um, trigger warning, I'm gonna post a picture of the Uber. I had just eaten, like, quesadillas, so. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not my proudest moment. Okay. <laughs> so I make it into the Airbnb, and I go upstairs to my room, and I am just puking, like, profusely in the toilet. Um, my manager, Brody, bless his fucking heart, he is the nicest man I've ever met. Like, this solidified us as friends. And I have so much respect for him. Because, like, I was puking in the toilet. And, like, my head was, like, falling in. He was, like, holding my head up and my hair back while I puked. And then when I was done, he fucking held my face and took my makeup off for me. And I barely remember this i didn't remember till the next day but yeah shout out brody because that is the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me <laughs> fast forward to the next day it's 8 a.m and i wake up and in my mind i'm like oh shit like i have to puke again so i run to the bathroom and the entire trip i had not taken a shit yet um i had to shit really bad the day before but like I didn't have time and so literally I thought I was gonna puke and shit my pants at the same time so I wake up I start puking um it's not good and then I'm literally just taking turns like puking and then like sitting on the toilet and shitting my fucking brains out and then 
I I felt like I was dying. My head was pounding, like my face was pale, my lips were chapped. I just sat in the hot shower for like an hour straight in order to feel semi-decent again. And I went, took a nap, and then I literally kept getting up like every 20 minutes and just puking more until someone got me Pedialyte. Shout out Brody again. Brody went to 7-Eleven and got me saltines and Pedialyte. Picture here. Thank you, Brody. <laughs> And then I was finally able to like keep fluids and food down. But I was just like literally puking up yellow bile for like the first five hours of my day. I think I drunkenly took a photo of my face while I was puking. I'll put it right here. Yeah, I was, it was not good. Anyways, around like three-ish, Emwell hits me up. And we had plans to go to the beach together with all the Copia people. So, Emwell comes and picks me up. And I feel so bad because this is my second day ever knowing him. And I'm just, like, sitting in his car, like, using all of my brain power to, like, even formulate a sentence. And he is just being so chill and, like, understanding with everything. Um, shout out Emwell. And so we make it to the beach, and Copia has been there for a long time, so they're about ready to leave. And so we all hang out for like an hour before they dip. But while we're hanging out, Brody and Lexi are like wrestling, and Brody loses his fucking phone in the ocean. And Jose had to dive in and get that shit. It was crazy. And it still works. So after they leave, me and Emwell go on like a nighttime adventure, and we like walk for like fucking three hours and mind you the entire day i'm barely able to like keep food down or like drink anything without getting nauseous but we end up on i guess the santa monica pier or whatever it's called and we just had such a good time it was chill uh and it was nighttime so we were like watching the fucking skyline and the ocean and shit and yeah it was such a pretty day also, in those two days, I bought, um, from the fucking, the, that's a whole lot of, that's an awful lot of cough syrup or whatever, like, no jumper store. I bought the sweatpants that I've been wanting for a while, and I know it's like, sorry, dirt bike joke vibe. It's like the most touristy thing for me to do, but I just wanted a pair, so I went and bought them. And then I bought a Vivian Westwood, like, bracelet, but... I'm fucking dumb as fuck and couldn't figure out how to put it on by myself. So I went back and traded it in for a ring that I'm obsessed with. It's super shiny and cute and fits me really well. And then I also bought like a real tree camo like hoodie. I was trying to link with my friend Rylan while I was there, but he had to like emergency go back to Florida. So while I was hanging out with Mwell, he had done like a photo shoot with Rylan for his brand and it's like shirts like this gets no bitches and emwell gave me his and i'm really happy while we were on the pier i bought like this shirt from a fucking stand that said i heart sluts and so i just bought i acquired so much dumb shit on this trip but anyways i'm gonna post some videos of the trip after this but thank you for listening to me ramble and yeah i hope you enjoy all the clips hey we got the beam all the way back little presidential moment little sure. presidential moment yeah i like the you got the sprite early in the morning early in the morning what hey, is that you ever heard of um peppermint yorks we're about to make peppermint yurks. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Yesterday, I went to this club and ate a fucking big ass burger and puked so much. So bad. So now, I got an acai bowl. The boys are eating breakfast I love so I could get this because I didn't want to eat anything greasy.
Say hi, Lexi. Hi. We're at the No Jumper store. All these niggas acting like they trapping, boy, you got along. I said I told them not to fuck with me, bro, no, they gon' bust with me. I'm drunk as fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Chris, what is wrong with us right now? Chris on the ground. Come on, back to Mexico. Yeah. YouTube. It's Makaya here. Yeah. With Kai Sinat. With Bayo, Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive. Um, let's go. We just got done drinking three buzz balls. Three buzz balls awesome. each. No, two days ago I got alcohol poisoning and I puked all over the side of my Uber and he <laughs> saw it. It's her picture here. Hey, that shit was gross, twin. <laughs> it was chunky as fuck. Facts. I got charged a hundred dollars. She was Damn. she was excreting camel soup. It was crazy. <laughs> We fuck for free. We fuck for free. We fuck for free. <laughs> <laughs>